My name is Kelly, and I'm a huge fan of the music of Benjamin Curtis, uh, especially Secret Machines and uh, School of Seven Bells. Um, but my relationship with his music is complicated. I was super excited to go see Secret Machines and Auto Lux. So I took in my camera, snuck it in my pocket, and recorded most of the show. I looked back at the footage, and even though it was one of the best shows I've ever seen, the footage is almost completely unwatchable. In early 2013, as School of Seven Bells were making some of their best music, it was announced that Benjamin Curtis had been diagnosed with T-cell lymphoblastic lymphoma. Um, and even worse, uh, I was devastated when I learned in late 2013 that the world lost one of its greatest musicians. So this is where it gets more complicated because while I never met him, when I learned about Benjamin's diagnosis, it impacted me because my wife has also been diagnosed with a blood cancer. In 2008, uh, I went into the ER with a stomach ache and uh, came out with a diagnosis of chronic myeloid leukemia. Um, at the time, I had no idea what it was. Carmen and I are very fortunate that thanks to funding of modern medications and treatments, Carmen lives a healthy and happy life. Whereas normally with her diagnosis, she would only have an, a life expectancy of three to five years. So she may have been gone over seven years ago. So essentially my medication probably would have never found the light of day if it wasn't for the LLS. I would go through ranges of emotion to thinking that he should still be here and he should still be making music, to thinking that what if something happens to my wife Carmen? What if her medication stops working one day? To why am I feeling this way when Carmen's medication works and I'm fortunate that she's even here. And I was able to go from these thoughts of thinking, oh, I wish things could change, I wish he could still be here, to realizing we can't do that. But I started to think about what can we do? So probably about 15 years ago, there were other people who donated to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And even if it was indirectly, their donation is one of the reasons that my wife is alive today and lives a healthy and happy life. So what I want to ask you today is if you can to donate to the LLS and join us in this mission to cure blood cancers and to support patients who need it. There's a link that you'll see here on the screen and if you can I invite you to donate and to join us. to me.